Good morning. It's day one of my global adventure. So I'm currently near Delft in the Netherlands on a very peaceful spot. Just enjoying some lunch, some dried apricots and a nice bottle of water. <laughs> so I have to say I was pretty stressed when I left this morning. Uh, it felt pretty weird to just leave everything behind. But now I'm here, uh, two hours after my departure. I have to say I feel pretty good already. So um, yeah. So I started in Brille today. Um, and I'm going to the town called Boskoop, where I'm staying uh, at my warm showers host. Uh, it's I think a 53 kilometer ride, so it's an easy ride. Uh, to start uh, my journey with. Uh, I haven't been training actually, so um, I did a lot of other sports, but no bikes, no cycling. So I'll just take it easy for the first, first few days and I'll see uh, how things go. So I'm very lucky with the weather today. The forecast was rain, but it stayed dry so far, so really happy. The famous Dutch greenhouses. <laughs> you can find them everywhere in the Netherlands. <laughs> Day one is coming to an end. I'm chilling here in the beautiful garden of my warm showers host. It's really, really amazing. So, small recap for today. Um, I cycled from Brille to Boskoop, uh, which is about 53 kilometers. Not really an extreme distance. But it was still tough um, with headwinds, so. But uh, yeah, got a lovely stay at my warm showers host. He even invited me for dinner, so. Yeah, man, it was really, really amazing. So in about an hour, uh, I'm going to sleep and see you in the morning for the next day. Nice weather outside, guys. Holy moly, lighting as well. First test of my tent. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is dry again. It has been raining all night. So I have to say I didn't sleep uh, very well. <laughs> I also forgot my earplugs, so they were outside my tent and I just didn't want to go through the rain to, to get them. So I did not really get a good night's sleep, but 
it is what it is. So today, um, yeah, it's mostly a travel day again. So I am um, riding my bike again to my next warm showers host, which is uh, near Amsterdam. It's about a 50 kilometer ride. Um, but the weather forecast isn't so great for uh, today. So there should be wind speeds of up to 80 kilometers. Um, but I believe there are mostly tailwinds. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But first, some coffee. <laughs> Disaster struck. I was just about to leave and then my shoe got damaged somehow. So now I need to find a uh, shoe repair shop first before I can go. <laughs> nice. I have an insane tailwind. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this will be along the whole ride. <laughs> it's really beautiful here. The Dutch polders. The downside is that it's always, always windy here. <laughs> but on days like today, we will manage. Oh yeah, so I found a shoe repair shop. Uh, the guy repaired my shoe. However, it lasted for less than one hour. So I did my own repairing and uh, I put some uh, duct tape around it. So we'll find out how long it will last. <laughs> Tailwind again. Good morning, guys. It's 8.30 in the morning. I just left my warm showers host. Uh, I arrived there yesterday evening. It was such a nice stay again. Lovely garden where I could pitch my tent. Um, he offered me to have dinner with him, so I had a nice pasta carbonara and um, in the night the, the weather got better, the wind laid down and today is a beautiful sunny day it seems. Dutch windmills, the next to a river, the Vecht and some Dutch polders. So I think um, starting today we will see a different landscape. So I will be heading to the Veluwe, which is more uh, of a forest area. Um, I am now cycling to the start of the Green Divide, which is a 300 kilometer ride, gravel ride um, through the Netherlands. And it should be mostly off-road, so I'm really curious to see uh, what happens. So the first two nights I um, planned a warm showers address uh, ahead of time but for tonight I don't have a sleeping place yet. Uh, yeah so 
I guess I'll figure that one out uh, in the afternoon <laughs> today. It's a lovely day. just cycled through a lot of wetlands and the landscape is a bit changing so we're soon heading into the woods it's so peaceful here and no more wind <laughs> Quick little break time. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's really beautiful here. There's absolutely no one here. It's so quiet. There's my bike. My saddle, it's a Brooks, Brooks B17. It's brand new, but uh, I absolutely love it so far. I'm having zero saddle sores or pain in my butt, <laughs> to say it more clear. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. I do have some lower back pains though. I think from sleeping on the mattress. I slept on this inflatable mattress before. Uh, the last few weeks in my apartment I didn't have a bed anymore. So I slept also on the mattress and really got a really really painful lower back. But uh, yeah. We will try to manage. What a nice day, unbelievable. Weather has been great, the landscape has been great. I still need to find a place to sleep though, but that's an issue for later. Hi. So it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I didn't find a place to sleep yet, but I found a small camping on uh, Google Maps. So I'm heading there currently and hopefully they will, uh, will be open because it's uh, still very early in the season. But yeah, we'll figure out in 15 minutes. There's nobody here, so I guess I'll wait for a bit. So, in the end they were open, so I found myself a 
really nice camping spot it's really quiet here um, usually I'm a guy who just plans things ahead so I get really anxious when I just do things on the go so it's pretty stressful for me but in the end I feel pretty uh, pretty good about it to just not plan ahead and just take things how they go maybe tomorrow I'll uh, do another uh, day of no planning trying to get used to it so there are currently only four people on this camping place <laughs> it's really quiet and I met uh, some lovely neighbors and since the moment I arrived they already uh, asked me to, to sit down with them uh, they offered me wine, some food, so super nice, super nice people. I love it here. I almost forgot, but my shoe also got an upgrade. Together with my neighbor, we tried to, uh, to glue it. So it's a nice upgrade. Good morning, day four, I just woke up. I don't look too great, but I slept very well. No pain in my back, so that's, uh, that's nice. The weather, however, is not so nice. Uh, it's still raining. So yesterday I was considering to stay here and extra day because it was just so nice here and just take a rest day um, but since it's raining I think I will just keep going because I don't want to sit in my tent uh, the whole day so I'm going to take a quick shower maybe get some coffee and I'll be on my way So it's currently dry, but I think it will start raining soon again. So yeah, we'll see. Riding with one hand is not so smart, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> raining again terrible terrible weather today so I just got myself a fresh pair of shoes Amazing, my two new best friends. <laughs> so, so I haven't been filming the whole day because it's been raining. So I'm completely soaked, wet and cold. So I found a uh, little camping spot on uh, Google Maps so I will be heading there right now I'm quickly cooking some food because it's dry now and then I'm going to sleep early I think good morning guys we're back on the road again so yesterday I cycled about 70 kilometers I believe was a, was a pretty tough day actually so it's the first day that my legs are getting sore my left knee starting to hurt a bit I'm just not used to uh, cycling long distances so I'm currently at the Veluwe with some nice sand dunes 
but I bl I'm close to a military base because there are also some shelters here. So I didn't really talk about my plan yet, I believe. Uh, so the plan is to cycle 15,000 kilometers through Europe. Yeah, so I'll first be heading to Norway, Norway, Sweden, which uh, is pretty rough, I think, because it's still very cold there. But that's an issue for later. Um, yeah, and I would love to uh, explore Eastern Europe as well. So after Sweden, I will be uh, taking a ferry to Estonia uh, and then cycle all the way down uh, across Eastern Europe. So uh, through uh, Poland, Hungary, Romania, Serbia. Um, and at that point, I will uh, head back north um, through Croatia, Italy, uh, Spain, and the end goal is the southern, most southern point of Portugal. Uh, and then I'll, I have cycled about 15,000 kilometers, I think. So uh, it's a pretty tough goal. I'm already uh, having some difficulties on the fourth day. So, uh, sorry, the fifth day. But yeah, um, when I was younger, I always loved the idea to uh, to explore the world, uh, uh, take on adventures. Uh, I always watched survival programs on Discovery Channel, uh, but I never was that person that actually took the the step to uh, yeah to undergo it myself. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, so far, I'm I'm really enjoying it. So. Uh, So I was just about to leave and it's my first flat of the tour. Nice, day five. It's an amazing feeling to just explore the Netherlands right now. There's hardly anyone around me, so and I got to be in this beautiful nature. So I'm pretty happy right now. already day six of the adventure time passes by quickly so yesterday I took it easy I think I only rode for like 50 kilometers it's currently 9 in the morning I already cycled for about an hour I am going near Zwolle today I think that will be uh, my end point for the day. So yeah, let's go.
So I've cycled about two hours now and I haven't seen a single soul on these tracks. So cool. Because the Netherlands is really populated. So there are not a lot of empty areas, so to say. So to see nobody for a few hours, <laughs> that's also something. <laughs> So I arrived at my campsite, it's a local farm with uh, camping facilities and it's a really be beautiful spot, um, they got some free bean coffee as well. Yeah so uh, really nice people, really nice service, free coffee and I can charge my electronics so cheers to that. So today I cycled for almost 80 kilometers, mostly off-road. But I have to say my legs feel great, so yeah. Maybe I'm slow, slowly training uh, myself. <laughs> So I'm currently in a shed of the owner. So they allowed me to cook on one of their stoves. So I'm preparing a feast meal today for myself. Some nice rice, some yummy beans in tomato sauce. And they also gave me four eggs. Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> Good morning, guys and ladies. It's currently 10 a.m. I slept very well at the farm. Yesterday I thought today would be a rest day, but actually I'm feeling pretty great. So um, I uh, found some. Uh, I found a place where I would like uh, to go. Uh, it's uh, some kind of a dolmen, a tomb, uh, which was built like 5,000 years ago. So it's uh, like a megalithic structure. Um, yeah, it's about a three hour ride, I believe, so it's a long ride, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, excited to go there. After today, I uh, will have a resting day and I will try to um, edit the first video. So yeah, let's go. Really lucky with the weather uh, the last three days. So after today, I think there will be a lot of rain and lightning again. So yeah, let's enjoy the moment for now. So the landscape today will be pretty boring. Mostly polders again, with maybe some a little bit of woodlands, but yeah, I probably won't film too much. So uh, I'll probably see you at the destination. <laughs> Good 
Komoot is sending me off-road again. Where the hell am I? Yeah, I don't want to fall into the water, so I'm walking this one. So Komoot is sending me off-road again. I think I selected mountain bike. So I'm in the middle of the field. Guess I'm going the, uh, the, the correct way. We'll find out. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh my goodness! Just in the middle of the fields. <sighs> right, I found the road again. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I want my event adventure to be off-road, so here I got my off-road <laughs> in the middle of the polders. Alright, let's continue to the dolmen. So, it was a three-hour detour for a few stones. <laughs> so in Dutch we call these Hunebedde. They are basically graves which were built uh, about 5,000 years ago. So I think these big boulders are remnants from the ice age uh, because when the glacier, uh, the glacier of the last ice age 10,000 years ago, uh, reached about uh, at this height in uh, the Netherlands, uh, when the glacier uh, retrieved again, uh, it left all these big boulders uh, which the people used to to build mass graves. That's what they uh, currently think they are. Well guys, I arrived at my little apartment for tonight. Pretty tired. Um, I cycled about 75 kilometers today. So not too bad. Um, but I'm happy uh, that for one night I don't have to set up my tent and I can just take a shower have a nice rest um, and start editing the, the first video. Yeah, so it's uh, it's already been seven days until I left home. Pretty crazy how uh, yeah how quickly the time passes by. It's been uh, been a great week. Um, some challenges, of course, um, mostly because everything is just new for me. So uh, the daily camping, the, the cycling, I'm not really experienced in, uh, in cycling long distances. So I was pretty tired uh, every day, but uh, I really enjoyed so far. Um, super nice, uh, super nice people I met. Uh, everybody wants to talk with you. It doesn't matter where you are, in front of the supermarket or uh, on a camping ground. Uh, so yeah, that's really nice. Alright, um, see you in the next video guys, bye bye.